Today I'm going to replace my standard well pump switch with a digital solid state pump switch made by Amtrol. It's called the Guardian CP. It has a minimum differential setting of 10 PSI and a maximum setting of 80 PSI. The differential range can be anywhere between 10 and 55 PSI. Has a quarter inch female pipe thread connection and it has a factory setting of 40 to 60 PSI and it can be 115 or 230 volt. When you receive it and you open up the box, it is a plastic housing with the quarter inch female pipe thread connector on the bottom so that'll fit right in there. It has a digital readout on top. It has a up and down and a setting button. There's a pretty good video out there already on YouTube that goes into setting this up. I will put that in the uh, comment section, the description of this video, so that you can look at it and watch that along with mine. It also comes with a pretty good set of instructions. Gives you a full wiring detail and it wires basically exactly the same as the original switch. You won't have any of the clicking sound that you get from this switch being as though it's solid state and digital. This switch I bought, I bought it through supplyhouse.com. It was $200. Amazon also has this same switch. It actually has two of them that look exactly alike. Um, the one is this one, which is made by Amatrol. They want $269 for that one. Then the other one, it says, is made by a different company. It looks exactly the same. That one has some poor reviews. Uh, so I will get back to you later and tell you how this works out for me, or you can just ask me in the comments as time goes by, and we'll see how this works. There are other features in this digital switch that I really like. Um, it has a low voltage feature. It also has a pump cycling feature. Okay, so I tripped the breaker, so there's no power in here. I have verified there is no power because I just changed the pump actually and the control box. So I know for a fact there's no power in there. We remove the cover and uh, I will start taking the wiring off. System's been drained. Like I said, I just changed my pump. I went from a three-quarter horsepower to a horse and a half, so I had to change my control box along with my pump. Actually, this winter I changed this switch out, so this switch was basically brand new. And why I changed the switch out this winter was because my pump would no longer bring it up to pressure and the switch the pump was actually wearing out so it it couldn't uh, get it up to 40 pounds anymore so the switch just kept the pump running being as though it never got to pressure so I will take this apart I will save this switch because it was brand new like two months ago and I'll just put the screws back in afterwards. Now this new uh, solid state digital controller switch is set to 40 for a low pressure and 60 for a high pressure. So I already pressurized my water tank to 38 because it's supposed to be pressurized two pounds below the starting pressure. And if I keep trying to tighten this nut, I'm never going to get it off.
hate when that happens. Now this one, <clears throat> you screws on here. The new switch is uh, all wires and wire nuts. So I've got some yellow wire nuts to go with it. Get this wiring off of here. And then I will be able to take the switch hosing off. Come on, little pipe wrench. Doesn't want to bite. I know, right tool for the right job, but when the pipe wrench doesn't want to bite on the pipe, you got to do what you got to do to get it done. And that's what I'm going to do. We got the old vice grips out. It's gone. Now we'll take the new one, take the cover off. It's just got wiring, as I said. We will put a little Teflon tape on here. Clean things up a little bit. Always keep your Teflon tape below the edge of the nipple so you don't get nothing that goes up into the system. Otherwise it'll plug your screens up and stuff in here. In your faucets, then you got to take them apart. Now don't crank too hard on this because it's only plastic. Make sure that you go on the brass piece down below here. I'm going to bring it around so it's square like that. Now then... Now I'll get my wires all cut off here. Something I always do is put arrows on here. This is the incoming power into the switch box. This is the outgoing power going up to the control box. It's something I always like to do uh, it's much easier when you go back to trace things out to remember where you're at and what you got. Now I need to make my wire connections in here. Being as though this is a plastic box, I do not need to have a ground in here. So I'm going to tie the two ground wires together so that I do have a ground up to my control box. Otherwise, my control box would not be grounded. And that's metal, so that needs to be grounded.
Okay, my wires are secure. Now I can start making my connections. Now I might as well bring the two out here and I'll get the grounds tied together and out of my way first. Because they can go all the way in the back and they're out of the way. and black goes to black. So this is line in. So white goes to white. Black goes to black. Blue goes to L1, and blue, L1 up here is white, so blue goes to white. And last but not least, white with a stripe goes to L2 and that's black and L2 up here is black. Wires pushed in, and we should be ready to put the cover on. And 
there it is. It's completed. Turn off my water drain valve. Open up the water line to my house. And I will go turn on the breaker and the well pump should start. Should run up to 60 and that's where it should shut off. 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. And she just shut off. Perfect. And my regular gauge reads about 58 psi. So everything is working as it should. Now that the switch is hooked up and operating, now I'll run through the adjustments. So right now, on the digital display, it's reading 44. That's the actual system pressure at this point in time. The only adjustments that there are is the lower pump start pressure and the upper pump shut off pressure. It has a square set button in the center and an up button and a down button. So to adjust the pressure, which is now set at 40 for the low pressure, you push the set button in and hold it, and low comes up. Now to change that set point, I would just adjust up or adjust down. So right now it's at 43 pounds, which is the pressure that the pump would kick in at when it gets down to 43 pounds. Now you give it 10 to 15 seconds and a PR comes up and that PR is where that, that signifies that there was a program change. Now the pump's gonna run up to 60 PSI and shut off because that's my upper set point. There it reached 60 and it shut off. Now if you wanna go in and set the high set point, the upper set point, you hold it again. When it comes up to low, just like before, then you push the button and hold it again. Now it's on the high set point. So now I can set the high set point up or down according to what I want. Now if I do not make a pressure, an actual change, then the PR will not come up. And that's what's going to happen now. It will not say that there was a program change because I did not change the program. The only other set point that's in here is pushing both arrows at the same time and that can reverse this instead of being read from this direction it can be read from that direction. So it just changes the writing so it's opposite direction in case the switch would happen to be 180 degrees off from where it is now. So that's the Guardian CP by Amtrol and uh, hopefully this will work out well for me and uh, we'll see there's not many videos out there on this I will add the Amtrol video where they show you the operation sequence that I just showed you I'll put that in the description also good luck